Hello everyone. Today we are going to study the experiment on DC chopper, step down chopper. To study DC step down chopper using MOSFET. This is our circuit diagram which is shown in your kit. Here you can see here this R1 here it is not connected and R2 is not connected. First we will make those connections. Now the connection part is over. Here I have given 15 to 24 volt supply we can give here. It is a chopper. It requires DC input. A chopper always converts a DC fixed DC input to variable DC output. Since it is a step down type of chopper, the average output voltage which you get will always be lesser than the voltage which you supply. That is lesser than your input. So this is 15 to 24 volt which I am going to supply. I have selected the value as 15 volt. I am going to supply 15 volt through a regulated DC supply. See here, I have taken two knobs over here that I have connected here to the input side. Okay. Then load. This is the load for the chopper. This load is already internally connected. You don't have to connect any other load over here. Okay. So here you will be connecting a DMM. See here, I have connected a DMM so that I can observe the value of output voltage. This I have fixed to DC since the output is going to be DC. Okay. So this is your DC voltage. And to observe the waveforms, here you are going to connect two CRO probes. Here I have connected two CRO probes. How have I connected it? I have taken two patch cords from here. See here this one patch cord and this is the other patch cord these two patch cords i have taken and to that i have connected the two crocodile clips so that your connections will not be loose fine now the settings of the cro cro i have selected channel one source to channel one input is dc so i have selected here it as dc okay so now these are overall connections one more thing when you set this waveform check out the time over here is it one millisecond two millisecond whatever because this value is very much important in our calculations fine and this is your output voltage now what does this waveform indicate see here this is t on of the waveform this is t off t on plus t off gives total time t in case of observation table, note down the value of T on, T off, calculate T, alpha, that is the duty cycle, is T on divided by T. We not observed, that is observed output voltage, check it from the DMM and the calculated value is Vs into alpha. Vs, I am taking it as 15 volt, that is my supply voltage, multiplied by the value of alpha. If these two are equal, it means your experiment is right. See here, I have written a note also that Vs is 15 volt, that is supply voltage, I am taking as 15 so we are having two observations table in first case we are going to consider t on as constant and in the second case we are going to consider t off as constant okay now let us begin now whatever the value i've got okay let's see uh, what my value comes out to be and yes one more thing how to adjust t on and t off see here through this RA and RB. This RA is for controlling T on and this RB is the variable register to control T on. Okay. okay. Now, my very first reading. Yes. So, we proceed towards our first observation. Now, see here. Take the position down. You can see here. See here. This is one complete block. Okay. I will show you here. This is one complete block. It consists of five lines. And one line will be of 0 
okay so you just have to measure the number of lines see here one two two lines two multiplied by one line is of point two. multiplied by this if it is 0 0.5 0 0.5 1 so 1 2 so 2 whatever value of time you have so we have taken it as 2 multiply and get the answer 2 multiplied by 0 0.2 multiplied by 2 gives me 0 0.8 0 0.8 this is my t on this i'm going to keep constant now t off how to measure t off take the position over here through this position control knob you can take the waveform up and down and through this knob front and back see here again two lines so 2 multiplied by 0.2 multiplied by 2 is 0 0.8 0 0.8 plus 0 0.8 is t is 1.6 alpha means t on means 0 0.8 divided by 1.6 Pointed divided by 1.6 that comes out to be 0.5 alpha is 0.5 we not observe 7.5 then v not is vs into alpha vs is how much 15 alpha is how much 0.5 so 0.5 into 15 how much 7.5 See, value is matching 7.5, 7.5. It is correct. Now, what I have to do, what I have done, T on is constant. So, I will vary T off. Let me vary T off a little bit. Okay. Or let me increase a bit. A value of t of see here now my t of is three lines so t on was pointed i have just varied t of as three into point two into two so that comes out to be three into point two into 2 is 1.2 that is 1.2 so my capital T is this plus this that is 2 alpha is 0 0.8 uh, so divided by 2 0 0.8 divided by 2 is 0 0.4 observed value comes out to be 7.3 volt and the calculated is 0.4 multiplied by 15. 0.4 multiplied by 15. Okay. So here so it comes out to be 6. But it is not exactly matching. It means somewhere we have done some mistake. So sometimes you know you have to be very precise regarding the lines. Very very precise. Extremely precise regarding your lines. So, like it is actually coming out to be, see here, it is not exactly 3 lines, it comes out to be actually 2.5 lines, alright. If you see here, it is not precisely 3, it is actually 2.5 lines, okay. So, if we take it as 2.5 instead of 3, let me see, 2.5 multiplied by 0.2 multiplied by 2, that comes out to be 1. So, this is 1.8, let us check. Okay, so sometimes it happens, it has to be because very very precise. So, if you face such problem, do not panic. Okay. See here, now just by this much amount it is coming to be 6.6 .6. means somewhere it is matching, okay. This is exactly matching but it is matching somewhere. So sometimes in precision if you make mistakes then you can face this problem, 
okay so your readings have to be very precise then next is your t off now what i am doing is i am setting my value of t off over here to a particular value and i shall note down the value of t off now see here my t off is very very small mm -hmm. here my t off is very very small it is just a single line if you can see okay so my t off is 0.2 since it is a one line multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2 that is my t off t on See here, my T on is just two lines. Okay, it's just two lines. So, whenever you face such problem that, oh, my answer is not matching, you don't have to panic. Because of even point slight difference also, your answer may vary. So, just check the number of lines. That is why only I had taken the second reading. And it was between 2.5 and 3. So, it was purposefully taken just to show you. Okay, that how even a minor mistake can affect your readings. So, T on. So, you just have to measure the number of lines precisely. So, what was my T on? It was 0.2 multiplied by 2 into 2. Now, let me calculate it. 0.2 multiplied by 2 into 2. That is 0.8. And this is 2 into 0.1 multiplied by uh, 0.2. That is, sorry, 2 into 0 0.2, that is 0 0.4. So, my T is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.8, that is 1.2. See here, 0 0.8 plus 0 0.4 is 1.2. This 0.2, because each line is of 0 0.2, this 2, because the number of lines which you see, and this too is because we have set it to here, 2 millisecond. If it was 1 millisecond, we would have taken 1. Alpha, T on divided by 2. How much is T on? 0 0.8. How much is T? T is how much? 1.2. So, how much value do I get? 0.8 divided by, uh, my value is 1.2. See here, it is 0.66. So, 0.6 suppose we take and my observed value is 8.7. This is 8.7 volt. Okay. Now, let me check. So, how much is Vs? This is 15 multiplied by alpha is how much? 0.6. So, 15 into 0.6. Let me see. 15 into 0.6 is uh, 0.6. Just a minute. Yeah, so this is 15, okay, multiplied by 0 0.6 comes out to be 9. So, 8.7 volt, 9 volt, around about it is matching, okay. So, your observed value and your calculated value has to be near about the same. Suppose you come across a large difference, it means that somewhere you are making mistake in counting the number of lines. Because see, this, it cannot be wrong. This is a digital value, it cannot be wrong. One line will be always of 0.2 milliseconds, it won't be wrong. It means you are mis making mistake either in calculating T on or T off. So, be precise. Still, if you come across any mistake, calculate the number of lines again. I hope I am clear. And see here, our output, these two values have to match. At the same time, this has to be always less than the input, which we have supplied, that is 15 volt. So, we have studied successfully our DC step-down chopper. We got the T on. Uh, wait, now I'll show you. <clears throat> See here. We have this large. This is T on. This one is your T off. T on plus T off gives you T. Alpha, that is duty cycle, that is T on divided by T. Here you can see, and this is your observed and calculated value. Set the DMM to DC volt only. Why? Because it is chopper, input is DC, fixed DC, output you get some variable DC. 
okay and in case of uh, your CRO look here we have set it to DC this is if you are selecting your channel 1 you have to see that your source is also connected to channel 1 this is your position knob up down and this position knob front and back clear and remember what value of milliseconds you are setting here is important in your calculation how the number of lines each line is of 0.2 multiplied by how much millisecond if it was 0.5 multiplied by 0.5 it is 1 multiplied by 1 and so on i hope i am clear and this experiment is also clear to you because see here this are on this uh, rcro you can come across these boxes and each box consists of five lines okay and each line is of 0.2 that is why we have taken this 0.2 milliseconds and here supply voltage we have taken as 15 volt why this supply is also so necessary because vs multiplied by alpha will give you the calculated value and how do i give supply voltage to my chopper kit through my regulated dc supply clear i hope the experiment is very much clear to you okay thank you so much